Hello, hello, welcome back my friends, welcome back to all of you and welcome to those that are new. You know that on this channel I always bring the truth and uh, the truth shall set you free as well. So say no to every lie that the mainstream media is throwing at your way. Let's speak about something that is concerning and sad. First openly trans army officer charged in plot to give US military medical info to Russia. All this happened in Baltimore, Maryland. A federal grand jury has returned an indictment charging Anna Gabriela, age 36, and her husband Jamie Lee Henry, age 39, both of Rockville, Maryland, with conspiracy and for the disclosure of individually identifiable health information related to their efforts to assist Russia in connection with the conflict in Ukraine. The indictment was returned on September 28, 2022, and unsealed today upon the arrest of the defendants. Gabrielian is scheduled to have initial appearance at 11.30 a.m. today in U.S. District Court in Baltimore before U.S. Magistrate Judge Brandon A. Herson. Henry is also expected to have an initial appearance today, although a time has not yet been set. The indictment was announced by United States Attorney for the District of Maryland, Eric L. Baron and Special Agent in Charge Thomas G. Soboczynski of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Baltimore Field Office. As stated in the indictment, Gabrielian is an anesthesiologist and work at Medical Institution 1 located in Baltimore, Maryland. Henry, a major in the United States Army who held a secret level security clearance, is Gabrielian's husband and a doctor. During the time of the alleged conspiracy, Henry worked as a staff internist stationed at Fort Bragg, the home of the Army's 18 Airborne Corps, headquarters of the United States Army Special Operation Command and the Womack Army Medical Center. According to the 8th Count Indictment, Gabrielian and Henry conspired to cause harm to the United States by providing confidential health information of Americans associated with the United States government and military to Russia. Specifically, the indictment alleges that beginning on August 17, 2022, Gabrielian and Henry conspired to provide this information related to patients at Medical Institution 1 and at Fort Bragg to an individual they believe to be working for the Russian government in order to demonstrate the level of Gabrielian's and Henry's access to all these infos. Their willingness to provide these infos to the Russian government and the potential for the Russian government to gain insights into the medical condition of individuals associated with the United States government and military in order to exploit this information. Gabrielian and Henry met with an individual they believed to be associated with the Russian government, but who was in fact a Federal Bureau of Investigation undercover agent, in order to convey to this undercover agent their commitment to aid Russia and to discuss ways in which they could help the Russian government. Gabrielian told the UC that she, well, she, uh, she is a trans. She had previously reached out to the Russian embassy by email and phone, offering Russia her and her husband's assistance. Gabrielian told the UC that although Henry knew of Gabrielian's interaction with the Russian embassy, she never mentioned Henry's name to the Russian embassy. Gabrielian wanted to make sure Henry could deny any knowledge of her actions. On August 17, 2022, Gabrielian met with the UC at a hotel in Baltimore. During that meeting, Gabrielian told the UC she was motivated by patriotism towards Russia to provide any assistance she could to Russia, even if it meant being fired or going to jail. Gabrielian proposed potential cover stories for meeting the UC and searched the need for plausible deniability in the event she was confronted by American authorities about meeting with the UC. Gabrielian also told the UC that as a military officer, Henry was currently a more important source for Russia than she was because he had more helpful information, including how the United States military establishes an army hospital in war conditions and information about previous training provided by the United States military to Ukrainian military personnel. Gabrielian arranged to meet with the UC and Henry later that evening. At about 8.10 p.m. that evening, the indictment alleges that Gabrielian and Henry met with the UC in the UC hotel room. During the meeting, Henry explained to the UC he was omitted 
to assist in Russia and had looked into volunteer to join the Russian army after the conflict in Ukraine began. But Russia wanted people with combat experience and he didn't have any. Henry Ford stated, the way I'm viewing what is going on in Ukraine now is that the United States is using Ukrainian as a proxy for their own hatred towards Russia. Henry and Gabrielian allegedly offered to provide the EUC with private medical records from the United States Army and Medical Institution 1 in order to help the Russian government. During the same meeting, Gabrielian demanded that if she were put at significant risk of arrest, she wanted her and Henry's children to have a nice flight to Turkey to go on vacation because I don't want to end in jail here with my kids being hostages over my head. Henry also indicated that he was concerned about passing a background check for his security clearance, telling the UC, I don't want to know your name because I want plausible deniability too. In a security clearance situation, they want to know names and people and all this stuff, he said. As he tell in the enigma, a few days later, Gabriel and the UC again met at the hotel in Baltimore to discuss providing army medical records to the UC. Gabriel told the UC that Henry was concerned about violating HIPAA, but Gabriel had no such concerns. Gabriel stated that she would check with Henry about providing medical records from Fort Bragg patients and get back in touch. The next day, Gabriel sent a text to the UC using coded language to advise that Henry would provide army medical records to the UC. On August 31, 2022, Gabriel and Henry allegedly met the UC at a hotel room in Gettysburg, Maryland. According to the indictment, Gabrielian provided the UC with uh, all the information related to two individuals, including the spouse of an employee of the Office of Naval Intelligence, whom Gabrielian pointed out had the medical condition Russia could exploit. Henry also allegedly provided information related to five individuals who were military veterans or related to military veterans. If convicted, the defendants face a maximum sentence of five years in federal prison for the conspiracy and a maximum of 10 years in federal prison for each count of disclosing those information. I, I, H, I, I. Actual sentences for federal crimes are typically less than the maximum penalties. A federal district court judge will determine any sentence after taking into account the use sentencing guidelines and other statutory factors. That's uh, the information, the article that I wanted to share with you all, guys. God bless you all, and always take care. Stay close to God. We live in perilous times, like never before. <laughs> take care, and uh, if you enjoy, if you like what I'm doing, by all means, smack that subscribe button. See you soon, friends.